All right, so right here we got to take out um, the heat sink. So let me just show you. Right here, that's the heat sink. So those two capacitors right there are bad. And those were right there, we replaced uh, 10 microfarad, 450 volt. All right, and then the, these three we replaced, those were bad. Those are 1,000, um, 10 volt. And, uh, but I can't get to the other ones. So what we're gonna have to do is take out the heat sink, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And that's where the board was right there. This oh, is of a Polaroid 32 inch LCD TV. And that's the motherboard, main board, the logic board. All right, so just no power on this TV. Or turns on and then turns off, no picture. So we'll go ahead and continue. So what we're gonna um, do is right here to take this off, take this heat sink off. We're gonna have to uh, unsolder the transistor legs, which are uh, right here. If you turn it upside down, I'm gonna show you. So once you unsolder all these legs right here, you have to wiggle them to break free. And then you wanna unsolder the heat sink legs and I got a what's my solder gun is a well weller and uh, it is a 25 volt no 25 watt and heat up that heat sink leg and heat up that one I'm gonna heat up the pin until it liquefies and, and this is a solder sucker by the way plunger basically you hit the button and that's how it sucks everything in all the solder in it looks like that and then the other leg right here all right and then now this should uh, hopefully break free Wiggle that off. Is there another one? No, it comes off. Like that. So now you can get to all of them. Right there. And you want to put this over to the side right here. And now you can work on it. Alright, so we replace this one, this one. Um, this one and this one, this one. So we got two uh, 10, uh, 10 microfarad, 450 volt. These are bad. Even though one feels bulged and one doesn't, they're both bad. We read them on a cap meter. So sometimes the, they don't look bad and they are bad. And then we replace these three, which are uh, 1000 microfarad, 10 volt. All right, so we got a couple others that we have to replace. And um, to read, um, you have to read the capacitors out of circuit to test them. So let's go ahead and put this one in. And you put it in to see that stripe right there. The stripe goes on, uh, see where that stripe is right there? So that's where it goes. Let's go ahead and match it up right there. This one has a lot of bad capacitors. Next, all right, put these in. And then let's go ahead and put the other one in. Flip it over, and then we can solder it. Right there, you bend the legs out so they don't fall out. And then now we gotta look for the solder again. All right, so continue on. Solder the legs in. So you wanna heat up the, the pin and the board at the same time, and it liquefies like that. 
It looks nice and smooth. Oop. There you go. Don't heat up the solder, heat up the pin. Right there. Like so. Heat it up the pin. Right there. So that's all in. So now what we want to do is uh, put the heat sink back in. And then turn on the TV. And hopefully it turn on. Oh, we gotta clip the legs. There you're. And clip the legs. Just wanna order the cap kit, by the way, for this thing. It's like 15 bucks. Where's it at? eBay. eBay. 15 bucks. Or Amazon, I think they sell it too. This is easier that way. But you still gotta get a 25 watt solder gun and uh, desolder sucker like this you can go on my tampa tech uh, blogspot.com you can get that there too if you want you just want to line all that up so once you line all that up right there now you're going to solder it all together make sure you solder all the legs and you don't um, short anything out and heat, again you have to heat up the pin Heat up the pin. Might, get, might have to get more solder. I need, I need to get some my eat lunch. I'm shaking. I'm like, mm. I'll be like a really bad surgeon. <laughs> Be like. Ah, oh, let me take your heart Wait. out. No, lungs instead. I just need to eat some lunch. Make sure you don't solder the pins together, or else when you turn on the TV, it'll be 4th of July, you'll be watching. How, how come it's never a fuse, you know? Never, no, no, they don't, it couldn't be that easy, dude. People open up their TV, it's gone, let's replace the fuse. Yeah. It's never the fuse. No. No, they don't want it to be that easy. Yeah, it's usually a capacitor or something. The worst is when it's a microchip. Those are harder to fix. All right, so. We got all that situated. Now we're going to put it all back together. Double check your work. Make sure you didn't screw anything up. Alright. 